Hey, what's up, my peeps? I haven't done the uh, hand dishwashing segment in quite some time. And usually when I do it, it's about more of a, um, a major scandal that's taking place because I find that some of my clearest, clearest <laughs> thinking on any given issue, especially political, comes to me when I'm hand washing dishes. We have two senators in Washington DC right now that supposedly represent the people of the great state of Georgia. Yes, I'm calling you out. Zach Spee Chambliss. I voted for your ass. And John Isaacson. <laughs> Your days are numbered, people. Your days are numbered. I kid you not. Just go ahead and resign. Get it over with. Because you're never going to be elected to another freaking thing. To think for the slightest moment that this deal that you signed off on last night is a good deal shows what rhino pieces of crap both of you have become. Gentlemen, you're an embarrassment. More of an embarrassment to the state of Georgia than me with my dishwashed, dish soapy, dish soap, what is it called? More of an embarrassment. You sold out. You got no doggone balls. You went to Washington, D.C. You were given a job. You got the support of people like me. And then what do you do? You blow it at your ass. At your first opportunity to stand up and have some backbone, you went and voted to support raising the debt ceiling. Oh, my God. 16, 16, 17 trillion dollars wasn't enough, so we have to raise the debt ceiling. The more you raise the debt ceiling, the more the Democrats have an argument to make later on that we need to raise taxes to pay off the debt, you freaking jack wagons. You're not thinking things out. What, what do you think? Who do you think in Georgia is going to support any of the decisions that you've made. Well, don't worry. You won't get you won't get the support of me and you won't get the support of many other people I know. Chances are your support in the state of Georgia is pretty much ran dry because of your stupid, self-centered, cowardly vote last night to side with Obama, to side with the Democrats, and you call it bipartisan. Anything in Washington, D.C. that's called bipartisan means that you capitulated to the enemy. Yes, they are the enemy. They're not your respected members from the other side of the aisle. They are the enemy. They've proven to be the enemy of the United States of America. And you two, yes, both of you don't see it. Join hands with John McCain. Join hands with the GOP establishment. Join hands with uh, Lindsey Gramasty of South Carolina. Go ahead. Join hands with him. Join hands. And we'll march you guys off to jail along with Obama when he's finally impeached and imprisoned. You traitors. You spineless cowards. No, no. I'm not forgetting, and a lot of the people in Georgia right now will not forget. And if they start to forget, I'll remind them with every ounce of my being, I will remind them that you capitulated. You know what? The government shutdown was a good thing. Sequester is a good thing. Less federal government, a good thing. 
but you guys got caught up in your little political spin game up there, and you want to be bipartisan? Bipartisan? When's the last time Barack Hussein Obama was bipartisan with you? Name it! You can't name it! I'm trying not to say the word idiot. Or in your case, idiots, plural. You know, no senator from Texas voted to go ahead and increase, increase the debt ceiling. What part of Tea Party don't you understand? T-E-A, taxed enough already. You increase the debt ceiling, that means we have to pay more taxes to pay for the debt. Your ignorance is beyond rational thinking.